to my channel. So, something exciting is happening. For those of you who don't know, um, for the past, well, for a very long time I've suffered with body image, body dysmorphia, um, and disordered eating. But physically, I developed like an eating disorder about four years ago. Um, and my period stopped for a while and then it came back. And then I now haven't had a period in two years now, which isn't good because you need your period for estrogen and all sorts of hormones, which help all sorts of parts of your body, especially your bones. And unfortunately, I was diagnosed with osteopenia at the beginning of this year, which basically means that my bone density isn't great. So I have been on the waiting list for the eating disorder clinic for over a year now going well no one can help me I'm not ill enough which I get but I still need some help so the doctors wanted to put me on the pill and I was like no pill does not do anything in this scenario it's not a real period um do not get me wrong the pill has its place it really really does but in this circumstance it's not the right thing so I did loads of research and I was like I want to go on estrogen patches hormone replacement therapy, HRT, which is what they put menopausal women on to level out their estrogen levels. Um, my doctor was like, oh, I'm not sure about it. Oh, I'm not sure. And I said, look, please, can can you talk to someone to see what if this is the best thing? And he said, okay, I'll talk to the endocrinology team at the hospital. Got an appointment with them and it was a female. <gasps> I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing because not to be disrespectful to male doctors, but sometimes as a female, all, lots of studies and things, they're done on male participants, not females. And it, male and female, we are built very, very differently. Um, so she said to me, she was like, right, we went through everything. She said, okay, what do you want to happen? And I said, I do not want to go on the pill. I want to go on estrogen patches. And she said, I completely agree with you. I was like, oh my gosh, someone's listening to me. So... She's prescribed me estrogen patches. It's taken a month for the prescription to come through because hospital didn't send through the letter to my doctor and he couldn't prescribe it until he had the letter. But I'm on my way to pick up my estrogen patches now. And hopefully I'll have a period soon. <laughs> so we just picked them up. So excited. So excited. I'm going to put them on tomorrow. I'm going to start tomorrow think um yeah so I have to apply one patch twice a week for two weeks and then there's another patch that I have to apply twice a week for two weeks and I repeat that <laughs> so excited so guys it's actually two days later because yesterday it was just so busy and it got to the end of the day and I was like, what's the point in even like doing this right now? So I've got my patches. So there are two patches. There's the estrogen one and then the progesterone one. So what you have to do is you have to apply the estrogen one twice a week. Wait, wait, I just had to double check. Yeah, so apply one Everell patch twice weekly for two weeks. And then one Everell Conti patch twice weekly for two weeks. So I'm going to put this on. And also, I just want to say before, I, I know lots of people are going to be like, oh, you're kind of enabling the fact that you don't have a period and this is just like a crutch. This is going to, yeah, it is in a way. It's not me naturally getting my period back, but it's a more natural way than just being put on the pill. And also this is going to help with my bones. And also having more estrogen in my system is going to help with body image um, and help with mood, which will hopefully help me and encourage me to get better so that I naturally have a period. So they say that you should put these on your like buttock. So let's give it a go. I've moved you to a stand because it was causing me issues having to do this. Also, those are Christmas hampers in the background. So what I've got here is the estrogen one this is another thing estrogen or estrogen growing up in a multi 
accent household. I don't know what the connect, connect. Right, I can't even talk English. What's the correct pronunciation is. So, for application to the skin below the waist. Okay. Let's do this. So, this is what it looks like. It's like that on one side and that on the other side. I'm not entirely sure how one does this. Oh, oh, it does that. Okay. And it looks like that. And then, so I'll attach that bit to me and then peel that bit off. Sorry guys, you're about to see my underwear. Lucky you. So I'm going to attach it there. And then I can't even really see it. I'm going to get some estrogen, baby. Ah! So just applied my patch. Um, I'm like nervous but excited like I'm nervous because uh, whenever I did have periods I oh my god I had the worst mood swings I had such awful bloating I would get such bad cramps I would like I just was just ugh, it was just horrible um so I'm not looking forward to that and I'm not gonna lie to you it has been nice not having periods not having to worry about periods for the last few years but I know that it's not good to not have a period. So I'm excited that I'm going to be going through period -y stuff again. And, you know, I'm gonna be protecting my bones and I don't know, maybe actually be able to have a child one day, because at the moment that's not something which I could do. So we see how my mood changes as well. It's gonna be very, very interesting. Oh gosh, I apologise to the people in my life. I'm just, I'm sorry. But, so, I shall update you guys on how it goes. So, I'm going to keep this one on, so it's Wednesday today, so I'll probably change this on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then change it again on Wednesday, change it again on Sunday, and then change to progesterone the following Wednesday. Two weeks. So yeah, have a period soon. So guys, that video, a little clip was from last night. Um, on my way home from London. Um, I feel so sick. And that is a side effect of the patches. Um, I literally just feel like I want to vomit <laughs> all the time, which is not a nice feeling, but apparently it's really common and it's supposed to go away after a few weeks. So yeah, and I've woken up feeling sick again, so hopefully it will go soon because I don't like feeling sick. So, I just had some breakfast and it made the nausea go a little bit <clears throat> and now it's suddenly come back. So it's not fun, it's not great. Um, I'm hoping it will go away soon. Um, but I was just thinking about it and like another reason I wanted to make this video is because obviously well, not, not necessarily obviously, but most people know that HRT is prescribed to women going through menopause. Um, but no one really talks about it in younger women. Um, even younger women who are going through menopause. But no one talks about it as a possible helping hand for women with HA. Um, hypothalamic amenorrhea which is loss of periods um, and how it can be a helpful stepping stone 
into getting your period back, um, going on the pill is not a helpful thing to get your period back. It doesn't, it's not a real period. Whereas with the HRT, it's giving you a direct dose of that hormone and your body is actually producing a period. Um, no, your body's not making yourself, your body's not producing the hormones, but you're giving yourself the direct hormones. So it's a better, helpful way than the pill. Um, and for any of you who are suffering from HA, I urge you to go talk to an endocrinologist um, and see if this is something that they could prescribe you. Because even if you're only on it for six months, a year, it will help with your bones. Um, and for me, it's kind of giving me a, like, it's taking the pressure off of me trying to recover whilst also trying to think, okay, I don't have my period yet. This means that my bones are crumbling. This is bad for this. This is bad for this. Knowing that I'm going to have my period sort of takes that pressure off. I can just focus on mentally getting better to then physically get better without the added pressure of all the other stuff. Um, so that's why it's helpful for me. So yeah, just thought I'd say that. I just don't want to feel sick anymore. <laughs> it's Sunday morning now. I've got to change my patch today. Um, I was going to update you, so last night I... I felt so sick. Like I was crying. I felt so sick. I had to go sit on my bathroom floor before I went to bed. Um because I literally was like, I'm gonna throw up. I sat there for like an hour. I didn't throw up, thank God. But, yeah. And my stomach, like my lower stomach is really hurting. Like period cramps. But I shouldn't be getting my period yet. I am super, super sensitive to medication. So, if there's a side effect, I will get it, clearly. So yeah, I also got a cold, which isn't great, and I'm on antibiotics for my stomach, which is not great either. So, I'm going through it, but yeah, the, um, the patches are not making me feel great. So, um, I'll change my patch after my shower today. But yeah. Sorry, my dogs are barking <laughs> so much. So gang, it's Sunday. It's time to remove my first patch. And put on a second one. Let's see how painful this is to remove. Lucky you, you get to see me in my underwear again. Seriously guys, this is the most anyone's seen me in my underwear in like, four years <laughs> very privileged so we've got this little guy and as you can see like she has developed some like you know when stickers are on for too long and they get like fur attached to it it's just from like all my trousers and stuff so let's rip her off She's off, and she's very flimsy. Hmm. So, let's put on a second one. I'm gonna put her on this side. Yes, she is a she, because she's estrogen. I think I'm gonna call that Ellie estrogen, and then Paddy progesterone. And that's a he. So we've got, or Eve. I don't know, you let me know. Eve or Ellie? Put estrogen. And Paddy. Patrick. Pete. Let me know. So yeah, let's put on another 
Okay, shoot him one. They're on this side. Mm. 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 It's more difficult because I'm right handed. Ow! Stabbing me. Smooth her out. And there we go. She's on. So guys. <laughs> oh dear. I have experienced this evening the emotions that I have not experienced in over two years. Um, I suddenly just got really angry, really irritated, and really grumpy. <laughs> and then um, I cut open a watermelon to eat, and it was slightly rotten. And I burst out crying, just hysterically crying, because the watermelon was rotten. Yeah, so I think it's safe to say that the um, the patches are starting to take effect on my emotions. Oh God, yeah. So that, that was interesting. So it's Wednesday. Um, just in a shower. Just want to look like this. I'm just about to change my patch again. I'm not going to show you guys because I think you've seen enough of that. Um, but yes, yeah, so it's been a week now. And I'm not feeling great. I don't feel sick anymore. I just feel so emotional. Like, I just want to cry all the time. Um, yeah, just feeling really down, really depressed. And just really, yeah, just not good emotions, which is weird because I was hoping it would stabilise my mood, if anything, to make it worse. Um, I'm hoping it will all level out once my hormones get leveled. So yeah, not, not feeling great. So it's Thursday. I've officially been on <laughs> the patches for over a week now. Um, yeah, just really emotional. Really, really emotional. Um, I can't stop crying. My body image is probably the worst it's been in a very very long time I'd say in about six months um I'm really tired as well I don't think that's helping so like I'm tired and I'm emotional because I'm overtired but I'm also emotional because of the hormones and because I'm tired I'm not feeling like energized in my workouts and stuff um yeah but I'm better than I was a couple of days ago. I don't feel sick anymore. Sorry, my dog's gone insane. She's barking. Um, yeah, I don't feel sick anymore. But just... Hi, baby! <laughs> you look so small. You look tiny. My little boy. Um, yeah, I'm just really, really emotional. So I'm hoping that they level out soon because... I don't like this. I don't like being on the verge of tears constantly. So it's Saturday. Tomorrow is the last time I change to a estrogen patch. I feel okay. I'm just like, I'm a little bit more emotionally stable. <laughs> um, but yeah, just body image is awful at the moment like yeah just don't even want to look in the mirror don't want to 
look at myself like even filming right now I'm like trying not to look at the screen because I just don't want to see what I look like um yeah so it's gonna be interesting to see how my body reacts when I change to do progesterone patches um yeah so tomorrow's my last estrogen patch for this month <laughs>